YouTube world, man. What is going on? I got another gameplay. Weekend League has finished. I played about 40 games in Weekend League. I think I went 38-2. and two. One loss was a disconnection. You know what happens, you know. So if you're watching these games live, twitch.tv slash dub dot, you can catch all the action every night we're live playing some type of Madden, whether it be Weekend League, whether it be uh, Mud Head to Head, whether it be Players Lounge matches, whatever it may be, that is what we do every single night. So make sure you check me out there. Also, before I get into this video, I want you guys to follow my Instagram. I'm going to be doing a PayPal giveaway or Cash App, whichever one you want. Now, I want you to log on to my Instagram, follow, and I want you to leave your Cash App or your PayPal below this picture. I will choose 10 people to send $10 to just for this video, so make sure you guys get that done. Now, let's talk about Madden. One thing that has been sweeping the Mutt community, the Mutt world, has been these two streaks chucking the ball high to Kelvin Benjamin in this video. You'll see Randy Moss, Calvin Johnson, whoever it may be, um, and, and they're just chucking streaks, and they get positioned in front of your DBs, which I, as much as it's kind of cheesy, at the end of the day, I really think it, it is kind, I don't want to say realistic, but it's a good way to use these tall, big body wide receivers, and people are really finding a way to do that effectively. And I will tell you, streaming helped me this game. Because I was sitting there letting these streaks beat me. Uh, one thing, me, I have a lot of pride in my user. I feel like, boom, I should be able to out-user you, get in front of the, the wide receiver and get a pick. But with these big-body receivers, man, if they high point the ball, like in real life, you know, you're not going to make a big play on them. Even with a Patrick Peterson or a Jalen Ramsey, which I use at corner. Now, um, I was playing, and, and the game was getting bad. And then Joke, the Madden Bowl champion, if you guys have been paying attention on competitive Madden, was in my chat, and he said... Make this one adjustment. And this one adjustment stopped the streaks. This one adjustment changed the game. Now I want to go ahead and get into that adjustment and show you guys uh, essentially what it was. Now, you guys know uh, a lot of times for pass defense I use, or for run defense, I actually use edge blitz, which is a man coverage based play. And that's what I like to run against on their side. I like to run man coverage, mostly to press. Now these guys... Uh, at the line of scrimmage, you really can't press them, you know, because they have streak specialists. They have uh, just 99 speed. They're tall. If you try to press them, most of the time you're going to get beat. Now, I will press if I can cover both receivers on one side. If it's an I-form slot with two receivers on one side, I will press that way because then I can take my user. If one gets beat by the press, I can cover them. But what most of these guys do is they run – what they run is essentially – um, they run a Y formation, and you'll see in this video, with both receivers split all the way out to the sideline. So essentially, if you press both of them, you cannot, you know, guard both of them if they both, both beat the press. It's pretty much stretching your user out, pause, across the entire field. And that's why I don't like to press against that formation. If it was eye close, where they're both right here, or if it's a strong close, I like to press that because my user can cover both of them if they beat the press. But... This eye form is a little tougher, so I'll show you guys the actual adjustment that I use to make sure to slow down these streaks. Boom, now let's get in practice mode. Now, like I said, I like to run the edge blitz. That's where I like to run. Okay, and most of these guys, I believe, I will Y off. This is it. Now, I, I this is what they do. Now, I have the Raiders right here just because the Raiders playbook. And we see here they run this double dig play. This play will come into fashion real quick in this game. And what there's all these different plays, and but essentially it's just two streaks. That's pretty much what they're going to run. But I will show you the one adjustment that was told for me by Joke, and he was actually the one to tell me uh, VY Electrify actually found it. So VY is one of the up and coming Madden players uh, on the competitive circuit. Now normally what I do is I I, shade, I press down. And then I wide down on the right stick, so I shade underneath. So I press the hell out of these guys. But just like I said in the intro, man, you can't really do that if they're spread out like this, you know. So so, and I've said this in one of my befriending the bots videos. If you if you wide and shade over top, they will not press. I'm just going to show you just the press animations on the outside. I don't know what the, the computer's going to do with this, but you see, we get no animations on the outside as he hits the underneath route. But I'll show you what that does. It, like I said, you get no no press. Now, what you want to do to stop the streaks is one more adjustment. You want to press, shade up, and then watch my DB. I want to shade inside. Watch, look where my DB lines up on the right side and the left side. You know, so they're not going to press and they're going to have inside leverage 
uh, to better defend these streaks. So that's essentially what you want to do against these streaks, and that way you'll be able to click on, and you will see in this gameplay, when I switched to this defense, it changed a lot. Now, which is weird about shading, I don't think it works, really, because in a perfect world, if you shade inside, you shouldn't be able to run an in route, a post, anything. I, I really feel like but an out route should be damn near a touchdown. You know, that would one day man coverage, if it could get like that, it'd be awesome. But the one thing about when you play man coverage, you shade up, you don't press the receiver. Um, the receiver is going to beat his ass on every single route that he runs. Every single route he runs is going to be a completion, period. But you won't get beat by the streak. And what that takes away is the big play. All right. So if you take away the big play, you can use everybody else in the box here to take away the underneath routes, you know, and as you see, as this game goes on, I'll do things like this, you know, things like this and different zones, because uh, once you take away the deep, deep ball, what else do you really have to worry about? So now you have to worry about taking away the in routes, the out routes, the post routes, everything else. But the biggest threat is gone. So let's watch this gameplay. This game was actually against Ryan Hollins. If you guys have been watching Madden or Mutt at all on Twitch or anything like that, I mean, you have noticed that Ryan Hollins has been playing a lot. As you see the streak right here over Ramsey, Kelvin Benjamin, right down the field the first play. This is before I was doing the adjustment. Right here, I try to cover three, moving my deep third in, and this is what happens to Pat Pete. Poor Pat Pete. So right there, uh, we just gave him a fast touchdown. I mean, it happens. It happens to all of us every once in a while. Uh, right there, uh, you know, we got to make an adjustment. We got to figure it out. I might go to two-man under. I might double-team these receivers, but I don't want him to be able to run the ball, and I don't want him to be able to just be comfortable back there. So I want to keep blitzing, and blitzing is what Ryan Hollins does. This guy is actually number one on the Mutt leaderboards. He's played probably 4,000 games of Mutt this year. I almost throw a pick six, but, you know, I mean, listen. Just, just give me something early in the game. Right here, we're able to roll out, hit dagger for a big play. He blitzes seven people every single play. Every play, there is no adjustments. It is cover two, blitz seven people all play. Now, I, I in the beginning of the year, I think this defense was, eh, I wasn't, it wasn't good. Now with um, 96 and 98 speed, is Michael Vick has 99 speed, and he's going to take this one to the Baja touchdown tie the game up but with these linebackers having 98 speed and and just just that much faster it just happens that much quicker you know it's kind of like uh in in december as he goes for a post route right here he switched up uh now i'm going two man under i'm trying two man under this drive i'm trying to take it away he tries to go underneath i mean if i hold y there that's a pick six but you never expect a bad throw he has tom brady a quarterback i believe he has gunslinger uh, and he, as he chucks, he just snaps right there and beats me on another streak right there. Pat Pete uh, not having a good day early in the game. You know, Pat Pete's my favorite corner in the game. Not having a good day. But, you know, you can't you can't get mad at him. You got to just still instill that confidence in the huddle. Make sure he gets it going. But like I say, he blitzes these 98 speed linebackers every single play. Uh, he has Palomalo and Clowney at outside linebacker. As you see right there, just everybody's coming. Now, this hitch uh, is pretty much open every play. Now, I will tell you this about being, being a, as I throw the hitch again, being a defensive player and playing Madden my whole life, it takes a lot of patience for someone to throw this every play. And I'll be honest, it's patience that I don't have. You know, especially for a weekend league game or a mud head to head game. If this was game seven, if this was, you know, the MCS, the Madden Bowl, maybe. Yeah, but this game, it's weekend league, man. I'm in the entertainment business. Throwing a little hitch is not that entertaining. Uh, as we throw this little crossing route, boom. Anytime he anytime he gives me the opportunity to get out of the pocket, I will take it. You know, he he's actually does a better job than most of making sure I stay in the pocket. That's what makes his blitz eight and blitz seven so much uh, more effective as we run blast right there. We're just going to try to power in with blast. That's what we do. Michael Vick, second rushing touchdown of the game. Tie the game of 14-14. Now, this is the turning point of the game. This is when I go to the defense I just showed you guys. First play, he's going to try Jalen Ramsey one-on-one. -on -one. No, sir, not me. Picked off. Just like that. The first play, I go to shade up, shade inside, picked off. Just like that. Boom. So, there we, I feel like I got something. I feel like once you take away that streak, what are they really going to do? You know, as I throw this hitch again, you know, and Calvin Johnson says, well, look out, I want a Baja shot too. I want to take one to the Baja. Shrugs off two people. Touchdown 21-14. That's why I tell people, who are the best receivers in the game? Moss, Julio, and that man, Megatron, Calvin Johnson. All 99 speed, all big bodies. That's what you need on your team. 
Uh, that once again, now we're just, I'm going to send everybody and do the shade up, shade inside. And I'm good. I don't want him to be comfortable. He has Brady. He's not going to get out of the pocket. Um, but to his credit, this looks bummy. It's a bummy set, but eventually he's going to start, you know, doing other routes. But right now this drive, he still wants that streak. I am sending every person on my team because he's not going to throw to anybody else. He actually has Gronkowski at running back. Tries to go to just all over it. You see him just all over that streak right there. Has to punt. Punts the ball to Dion. Almost get up out of there. But there we go. Two minutes left. Where I feel like he's bagged. There's really nothing else he can do. And Vic gets out of there. I want to get a block from Ingram right there. But he just, whew. If he got a block, I was out of there for good. Second and three. I actually able to get out the pocket here. Pick up a couple yards. I actually hold on to the ball. We're lucky. Vic, I mean, you guys know. Vic will put that thing on the ground. Little run right here from Walter Payton. Got to use some clock here. This got to be the last drive of the second half. Another little stretch right there. I got to slow down a little bit. Okoye was just, I think Okoye is kind of ass at fullback. I don't know about you guys, but I, I don't know if I like him. Uh, but right now, I just want to make sure that he does not get the ball back. That's pretty much what I want to do. And he's using his timeouts now. Getting into his timeouts. I, I don't want him to get another drive. And I get sacked right there on third down. So I'm going to kick a field goal. But we're going up 10. I feel like his offense is bagged. It's over for this streak nonsense. Chucking streaks. It's over for it. Here we go again. And I'm going to kick the ball off. 15 seconds. Now, as much as the one-on-one -on -one is working, I don't want to leave one-on-one -on -one with 15 seconds. So I go two-man under, but the same adjustments. Shade up, shade inside. We got two people all over it, and we actually come up with the interception right there. Boom. First down. Now, I'm, you know, I'm not really much. First play, I'm going to run a little blast right here. And if you've been watching, you know, we don't like it easy. We don't like it. We like it sweaty. You know, the game's got to keep them in it. Right, chat? They just have to keep them in the game. Doesn't that always happen? They always keep them in the game. I, for one, I I believe in the DDA. I do. I, I, I really do. It makes sense. I, I really feel it as I play Madden. I really do. Uh, but I give up a fumble actually being, I was up 10, getting the ball at half. This game was pretty much cooked. Maybe it was stupid to run Vic right there. But, I mean, he was fully healthy. We're on conservative. He's going to fumble. He didn't get hit that hard. Just still put the ball on the ground. Uh, it always happens. But like I said, if you give the game a chance to cheat you, it's going to cheat you. And as much as, you know, that obviously that fumble hurt for score-wise, it momentum. I'm getting sacked now. You know, I go in completion. I get sacked. We get a third and 24. We're going to dump it off to this little slant, and Moss drops a slant. So we got a punt. So, I mean, we go from up 10 getting ball to only up three. Punting the ball, beautiful punt, by the way. I mean, just give me some credit in the comments for my punting job right there. Nice punt to get out of the back of my end zone. Scream at him, clowny right there, boom. Everybody, there's no threat other than these two wide receivers. That's one thing that we, there's no threat. So there's no doubt blitzing everybody is the move. Uh, boom, right there. We actually get Taylor Mays off the edge, his second sack of the game. There's And, and this is where he no huddles. He no huddles the whole game, but this time he's in uh, spike. And he's stuck in spike. You don't want to use the timeout, so he audibles. Obviously, he has hot route master, so he's going to do some hot routes. Now, I'm thinking, I'm, uh, there's no way Spike beats me. Spike doesn't beat this blitz everybody thing. There's no way. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. So I'm going to send nine people at him. I have both receivers manned up, shade up, shade inside. Here we go. And somehow he blocks everybody and throws a post route to Kelvin Benjamin first down. That's what I mean about shade inside. It should stop stuff like that. Next play, he tries to do a little hitch, and uh, Ramsey is all over. Ramsey had a huge game. Pat Pete, not that great of a game. Goes for another spike right here. Out route, that's what I mean, Pat Pete. But if you're shading up and shading inside, the out route's going to kill you. So this when he starts mixing it up, actually. Little hitch right there, boom. You're going to get killed by every route that isn't a streak. You have to know that as a defensive player, every route that isn't a streak is going to kill you. So for some reason, he thinks this fake spike is really it. That time I play covers, man up everybody in just a couple zones, and he's a super bagged. Boom, second and 18. This play, I put both my safeties in a purple. Cross man, Calvin Benjamin, and we get the interception, Calvin Johnson right there. That's what I mean about getting cute with your adjustments because you know a streak isn't going to beat you. So let's put some purples out there. Let's put some yellows out there. Let's really clamp down the field. Back up three. Throw this crossing route over here to Calvin Johnson. I think Dagger is the best play in the game to beat pressure. Um, it spaces out the defense so well. The one thing I was bad at this game, I tried to quick snap him too much. And every time I quick snapped him, I caught him on a D lineman. And he would he would cover my first read. Is Vic, I don't, I, pressure inaccurate for Vic right there, I guess. Uh, next play, same thing. Cross body inaccurate. I mean, I make that throw with Vic 
a hundred out of a hundred times. I don't know what happened there, but we turned the ball over. Vic kind of smoked that drive. Uh, once again, beautiful punt. I, I I need some credit in the comment section. Good punting, W. Uh, actually, good covers there because we didn't quite get him out of bounds, but we swarmed it. Got it to the twenty-two yard line, closing in at the end of the third quarter. He goes two streaks, but he gets sacked. There's no way to throw these with the way my DBs are playing. There's no way to throw these streaks. He's going to realize that, and, and once again, he goes to he goes to the out route and. Patrick Willis drops a game-winning pick, but it's, I mean, it's cool. Linebackers, linebackers suck. I right, let's just be honest about that as he throws a post route there on five people. But post, post flag elite, you will catch it every time. So, I mean, that's one thing. As much as the run game is powerful, I mean, these catching abilities are pretty tough. Here he goes again. In route right there, boom, absolutely smokes uh, Pat Pete. This is a bad game for Pat Pete. I, as, as I watch this back, I mean, he's actually not covering anything. You know, here we go. Like I said, it's kind of a cover two look I have here. And right at Shazier. And I told you, linebackers suck. I, I I just, they're awful. And here's Gronkowski, a running back. I guess the block better. <laughs> this is just actually crazy. Underneath the Gronkowski, hits thick again. Tie the game. Uh, he's going to tie the game up here with a field goal. Absolutely a scum, a scum offense. Uh, but at, we learned to take away the streak. We have not been hit with a streak so far. Uh, since that adjustment, we have not been hit with a streak. So, I'm cool with that. I, I can adjust and put zones out for out routes, in routes, and things like that. I feel like I should have had two picks that drive as we hit a little slant right here. It's money drive time. It's time to milk a little bit. Time to get to the end of the game as we run a little read option right here with Walter Payton. Boom. Take it to the two-minute warning. Second and four. We're looking for the corner route, but I get shedded and run out of bounds and throw the ball away. Third and four. Once again, we're going to go for the crossing route, but who's this man right there? Lawrence Taylor grabs me. Now it's decision time. I'm going to punt, but then I say, you know what? Nah. If I punt, he's one in route or post away from running the game out. If I go for it, even if I don't get it, more than likely I'm going to get the ball back to try to uh, tie the game up. So we're going to go for this. You know, we want to run dagger. That's what we want to run. Obviously, we want to hit Julio Jones. That's all. That's If I can block it, I'm hitting Julio Jones 1,000%. Now, I'm thinking he might put a quarter out here, so I motion out Ingram on a streak. Then I think to myself, you know what? I'm going to get screamed at. I need the motion block. One of the problems with uh, Trey Wyatt Flex is that in order to pick up blitzes, you have to waste a motion and waste a wide receiver. So I'm going to put this flat route to take away any uh, cloud flats on the right. I want to hit Julio Jones. I actually get the pass protection picked up perfectly. He goes to guard the in route. Julio Jones, first down. Just like that, man. And now I'm in business. Five, ten more yards, I'm in field goal range. Once again, another read option. I want to milk the clock a little bit. And once again, take ten seconds off the clock. We're able to roll out, get that cut block, throw the cross around Julio Jones. Boom. Now we're in field goal range. All three of his timeouts left. We're going to run a little dive right there, stretch. Absolutely. They just absolutely blew it up right there. One first down, I win the game. No doubt about it. We're going to go for it right here. Got everything covered, but somehow the D-tackle gets right in there. I feel like I would have lasered that, that streak route for a first down, but it wasn't there. Next play, I step up in the pocket like a G, but somebody sheds me. So, we're going to tie. We're going to take the lead. We used all his timeouts. Mutt has no runoff. So, a minute with no timeouts to get a field goal is still very doable, especially with this new 99 kick power kicker that can kick it from any logo in the game. So, it's going to be tough right here. One post route, one streak, I'm done. Start off blitzing everybody. He throws underneath. I don't know why he would ever waste a play doing that. Uh, but the runoff was no, absolutely no runoff right there. Second and eight, no huddles. Once again, I'm going to send everybody. Cloud flat on the left and in route, boom. Just like that. I mean, Pat Pete, this is bad. You guys are going to flame Pat Pete for this gameplay. But I believe, I believe in that card more than any in the game. Uh, <laughs> but he is getting killed. Like I said, when you shade up and shade in, inside, everything is open. Uh, he goes for Pat Pete, tries him. No, he didn't. I, now, listen, I'm telling you, this this sh new shading technique is bagging these streaks. That's the way to go right here. He goes right over Clowney's face. Linebackers suck, but now he's going to spike it. He has 17 seconds. He has the game tied. The field goes in the bag. Now, me, my philosophy right here is I don't want to go to overtime. I want to end it right here. I'm going to leave him one-on-one. -on -one. No cover two-man under. No nothing. I'm going to leave this one-on-one -on -one and say, please try these streaks. Please try them. I feel like I have the ability to click on and make a play. But I'm going to blitz everybody. So you're going to block everybody. I don't care about an in route right here. I don't care about an out route. I don't care about nothing. He's already in field goal range. I want to sack him or get an interception. So we're shading up. We're shading inside. We are blitzing everybody and their mother. Because 
If I sack him, he has to come out field goal. He has one play right here, especially if he gets sacked. And he actually takes a delay. I don't know what he took a delay for. Maybe his players weren't in the game. I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and, and do the same thing. We're going to run pinch buck. We're going to shade up, shade inside. We're going to blitz every person on the field other than the two corners. You guys are on islands with these six foot four goons. And we get a sack from Clowney. Now he should spike the ball right here. He actually goes in a huddle, and he's going to come out and run another play, which is absolutely insane. And I will tell you this, man, it doesn't matter how many cheese plays you run, how many blitz H you grab, stupid is stupid. That's simple and plain. Stupid is stupid. No plays, nothing in the game will stop you from being a bad Madden player. All right, as simple as that. Now I'm mad. I don't know. Ryan has grinded the game a lot, and he's really showed because he definitely has become a decent Madden player. But, man, that was stupid. You know, but we'll always take it, and, and that's what you got to do. You got to send them all right there and hope he gets sacked right there. Now, I will tell you guys that um, I love the runoff rule in, in on Madden, on salary cap, or on draft champions, or on regs. I love the runoff rule. It makes people pay for shit that he did right there. The fact he was able to actually still be able to get a field goal off is nuts. It's nuts. It should not be uh, that easy to go down the field. Uh, that's why I love the runoff rule in uh, under two minutes. I don't love it throughout the game. I kind of wish we went back to a 30-second play clock and all matter and everything. But this goes to show you, man, that, you know, if you make some people make a mistake, they're going to make a mistake, you know. And uh, once you once they're in field goal range, you got to go for it all. Try to knock them out. Try to sack the quarterback. Try to keep the ball running. But that's it. I hope you guys implement this new defense for these streaks. It helped me out a lot. So shout out to Joke, the Man Bowl champion, and VY Electrify for actually trying this adjustment. It's worked very well. Now, you're going to have to adjust to the different routes on the field, the different in routes, post routes, out routes. You're going to have to adjust to that. Man, maybe guess, maybe run a little two-man and put put your outside corner in the cloud, maybe. You see, linebackers suck. They just do. I mean, they don't do anything if they don't have an ability on them. So, I mean... God bless. But like I said, you're going to get some interceptions. You're going to slow it down. They will not be able to throw a streak. And most of these guys won't be used to seeing that defense, so you'll get a couple picks on them early. So if you like this if you like this video, hit that like button. Once again, follow that Instagram and hit that picture up for your chance to win the PayPal Cash App giveaway.